the half duplex nature of Wi-Fi. Now, many of us are familiar with an ethernet cable. With an ethernet cable, we have several twisted pairs of copper in one cable, so we can send traffic in two directions at the same time, and that's quite easy to do. It's kind of like a two-lane highway. We can send traffic east and west simultaneously. Wi-Fi is a little bit different though. In Wi-Fi, we can only send traffic in one direction at any given time. This is called half duplex. Traffic can only go in one time, uh, at one, one direction at any given time. So let's say that this router and or this access point was going to transmit some data and this laptop was also going to transmit some data at the same time. Uh, th that data would simply cancel each other out. It's kind of like when you're having a conversation with a friend. If you're having a conversation with somebody and they say something and you say something at the exact same time, you can't understand what they're trying to say and they can't understand what you're trying to say. You can't talk and listen at the same time. I have this problem. I definitely cannot talk and listen at the same time and I think most people have that problem. Wi-Fi is the exact same way. So what does a wireless conversation look like? Well, it's a constant process of data and then a reply with, with an acknowledgement. So here's what that looks like. So first, our access point is going to transmit the data frame. And upon receiving that data frame, the laptop's going to go, yep, check, got that data frame. And it's going to reply with an acknowledgement. It's going to acknowledge that it, that it received that frame. It's going to say, yep, check, I got that frame. I did receive that frame. If it doesn't transmit the acknowledgement, then the uh, then the access point has no way of knowing whether it received that data or not. So what happens if the data frame doesn't make it there? Let's say that it transmits the data frame, but something happens along the way, it gets garbled, and it just doesn't make it to, to the laptop. The laptop couldn't decode it, it couldn't hear it, it's just too far away. Any number of things could happen. Well, pretty soon, uh, after waiting a short amount of time, that that access point is going to go, okay, well, I never heard a response. Maybe the laptop didn't receive the frame. So it's going to transmit that frame again. And it's going to transmit that frame again. And it's going to keep retrying. It's going to keep resending that frame until finally the laptop receives the frame and goes, yep, check, got that frame. I did receive that frame and transmits an acknowledgement to say that it received it. This is known as a retransmission. And we want to avoid this as much as possible. We don't want to have to repeat ourselves to get the data through the air. We want to be able to say something and be done with it. That's really important when we're trying to design a network that can perform really well. So what does this look like when we have more than uh, more than one device? Well, in this example, we've got a phone here and it's transmitting a data frame to this access point. While this is occurring, all of these other devices have to be quiet and wait for their turn to talk. Only one device can talk at a time. If any of these other devices were to start talking right now, they would interrupt that transmission. It would garble that transmission and the access point would not be able to understand what the client is trying to say. Now, what is this device, really? What, what exactly is this question mark device here? Well, it could be a lot of things. It could be another Wi-Fi device. It could be a microwave oven. It could be a cordless phone or a wireless video camera. It could be anything else that's trying to use 2.4 gigahertz. Because remember, only one thing can use, uh, use a slice of, of frequency at any given time. Only one device can talk at a time. 